All right, guys, the first thing you want to do is come over here to routing, this routing button. Excellent. Then once you do so, you want to come over here to your input and you want to make sure all of these are set to local. So you have local one through eight, nine through 16, local 17 to 24, 25 to 32. And then I have my card set here, which is basically the playback from Studio One. I have this set to an aux. So the, on the aux end, I set that to card one and two. And if you come down here, I hit aux returns. You can see I have that set to DAW. All right, guys, we have one more step and we're gonna set up the X32 to be able to control Studio One. Uh, by using the DAW remote mode. You're gonna come over here to setup. And for you, it's probably gonna be on your global first. So you can toggle out of global, go over to remote and change that to Mackie HUI. And also make sure that your board is set to the um, proper sap sample rate that you have for your DAW. So for me, I just do 44.1 for this video. And we're all set here. Now let's go into Studio One and let's get the setup going over there. The next thing you want to do is when you set up your Studio One session is to set your preferences and change your playback and recording device to X USB. Once you've done so, you can hit OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up DAW remote for the X32. So this is going to require two steps. The first step is to go to Studio One, go to Preferences, External Devices, then go to Add, and then you're going to select a new control surface. And we're going to scroll down to Mackey, come down to Mackey, and you're going to select Mackey HUI. Excellent. Then you're going to receive from the X USB and send to X USB. Then you're going to hit OK. And there it is. So we're going to hit OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the IO for the X32. So you're going to come up here once again to song and go to song setup and go to your audio setup and you can see here here is the matrix now you can customize this however you need for you when it first comes up it's going to offset your inputs to one and two so i changed mine because on my x32 i have my motif set up here and you can choose to add another input you can select if you want it mono or stereo channel color etc and when you hit okay it'll pop up and you can actually rearrange where the channels come up like that so i can have the 32 over there that way so let's move this back down so what i did was i set up a stereo channel for my motif es6 and i it started all the way down at the bottom and i dragged it all the way up to the top so on my console the Motif ES6 is on channels one and two, and I have that selected for stereo or mono. Then from that point on out, my drums take on channels three through 13 and so on and so forth. So set up your matrix guys to configure it to your setup of how you have your inputs going into your X32. All right guys, and once you have that set up, the next thing you wanna do is come over here to uh, DAW remote and hit, hit this button. Excellent. And now all the tracks reflect the tracks we have. So let's say uh, track three, when I move that, it moves that fader. Track four. And now we can use this to do some wicked automation and just have that control over the board in that way. Hey, if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button for your boys. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Turn on those bell notifications so you won't miss another thing. Like I always say, we ain't nowhere near done. Peace.